Uh, I've got onions flying everywhere. I hope that's no, okay. No, that's great. Absolutely. I think that's the great. little onion minion would come and take care of the ones on the floor. Justin Warner here with voice actor James Mathis III, and today we're going to eat the universe. James, you are the voice of T'Challa in Marvel Animation's Avengers Assemble Black Panther's Quest. Yes, I am T'Challa. That rules. It's, uh, it's a good time to be king. I want to be king of the kitchen in a moment, though. I need your, uh, your expertise. So uh, today, in honor of you and in honor of uh, Black Panther, uh, we're going to make some African-inspired food. Works for me. So the first thing we're going to make is a, a side dish uh, that is kind of like a dish called isombe. And so this is gonna be like made out of cassava leaves and peanut butter and a bunch of vegetables and it's gonna accompany goat brochettes. Oh, I'm a big fan of goat. Yeah? And all the other flavors you mentioned. All right, so this is palm oil. We don't eat a lot of palm oil here in the United States, but in Africa, it's all over the place. So how did you get into voice acting? I mean, is this something you inherently knew, or was somebody like, you know, son, with a voice like that, you're gonna go great places in this Hardly. Place. I, I was a squeaky voice kid as well, but... Uh, what do you mean, as well? Who, who, well, I, 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 I sounded like you might have been a little squeaky, I, I think, uh, but... I had big uncles, and, and I always wanted to sound way bigger than I was. So initially, I was just disguising my voice on the phone to try to try to impress whoever was on the other line. Do you ever kind of like use it for evil? Like, do you ever like get a telemarketer and you'll like, you know, you will remove me from the list. Yes, you, you must. Uh, is this uh, Mr. Mathis the third? This ain't no change, the third! Hang up! Bye! That's usually what I, what I do if it's a telemarketer. This is an onion. Is that what that is? Yeah, yeah. You know, I want to get a little stir in it. Can I, can I do some of this? Oh, absolutely. Okay. You wore the apron. Thank you. You should do this whole thing. So you've been voice acting Black Panther since 2016. Yes. How has the popularity of Black Panther changed since 2016? Well, I, I'd say the, uh, the popularity of Black Panther has dramatically increased. Yeah. You know, what I love most about Black Panther, I think, is that you have so many competing responsibilities, yes. you know, within this character. Indeed. Uh, family, country, royalty, team-ups, you know, uh, uh, and not just country, but continent. You know, uh, it's more than just superhero fluff, you know, it's, it's stuff you can, you can really, you can really sink your teeth into as far as the human experience goes. Wow, I like that. And I also love that you said sink your teeth into. Hey. That was great. Yeah. I'm gonna squeeze the bitter liquid out of this uh, eggplant. Oh, I've nice. salted it. You've played Black Panther plenty, but you've played plenty of other characters as well. I have, yeah. I've uh, I've played a couple uh, in the Marvel universe. Yeah, uh, I've played uh, Ronan, the okay. Accuser, as yeah. well. It sounds like you play like characters with a lot of like power and responsibility. What does it look like? What does it sound like for you to play a ninny? You might need. I don't understand what's a ninny. You tell me what's a ninny. You got me in the kitchen. You talking about ninny? I don't understand a ninny. Wow. It is a little different than the king. <laughs> yeah. It is a little different. <laughs> that was far better than I had anticipated, you know? <laughs> well, we were like, well, all right, production meeting. Maybe he can do some, like, mini voice. Oh, that could be great. How do you What's feel about here? cassava leaves? Let's bring it. Yeah? Let's bring it. So what I love about cassava leaves is that they are the leaves of a root plant, and you eat all of it. Nice. I'm just going to add some water. Yes. And that's going to help these to steam. And then we're going to put them on the back burner. All right. And the back burner's back there. Welcome to Cooking in Wakanda. Can I pitch you some Wakandan cooking technology? I'm all ears. It's a vibranium pan. Yeah. And it stores energy. Yes. For cooking, mm -hmm. right? So you can beat the pan to like tenderize uh, some meat or something like that. <laughs> and then it'll bite back. And then, yeah, and then you just yeah. hold the pan and it cooks. I like that. Yeah? I like that. I think we, I think the Wakandan slow cooker mm. is actually uh, something that benefits from vibranium. Do you think you and I would make a great combo in a vibranium <laughs> slow cooking infomercial? Uh, yeah, you can do the heavy lifting. Okay. And I'll, I'll stand back and be the uh, Wakandan seal of approval. All right, I wonderful. Like that. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so now we're gonna make brochette. Brochette are basically uh, kebabs. Brochette sounds so much more fancy, right? It does, yeah. Oui, excusez, un brochette? Yeah. Ah oui, bon, je désire un brochette. Ah bon, un brochette, maintenant! Right? That was great. Hey, thank you. Man. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna make these goat brochettes. All I'm doing is skewering the goat, putting some salt on it, and then putting it on the grill. Since we're making goat, who is the goat of the Marvel Universe? <laughs> 
By the way, mom, GOAT means greatest of all time. It's an acronym. I think my obvious answer would be T'Challa. Yeah? But um, I think for the sake of argument, I'll say maybe Shuri. Oh, wow. Yeah, she's a technological genius. She's a beautiful spirit. And we're just getting to know her. So you might not believe me now when I say Shuri is the GOAT, but you will soon see. You've got that like inside Wakanda intel. I do, I do. So we've cooked out most of the excess moisture in here. We've got our cassava leaves super tender. All that's left is to finish it with some peanut butter and some salt. Cool. Sounds and for good. me, over here in the brochette department, I'm going to brush this with a sauce called Cheeto. And so this is uh, more oil along with chili peppers. You can handle spicy, right? Oh yeah. And believe it or not, some fish components like dried fish and dried shrimp. Nice. And that makes me very excited because uh, those are sources of umami and other exciting flavors. Oh man. Is that all right for the peanut butter? Oh, that's perfect. Great. So we'll just stir that up. Now let me ask, do you ever uh, make voices when you cook? It's like if you're, if you're making a certain dish, maybe a certain voice comes if out I'm of you. If I'm doing something for my dog, yeah. my dog has a voice. Oh, fun. You wanna hear it? I would love to hear your dog's voice. Oh, well, she's really excited about eating that meat on a stick right oh, now. Oh, yeah. She's not very bright, but she knows when there's meat on a stick. Oh, yes, that's awesome. That is beautiful. Sounds like you and your dog have a great relationship. Yeah, we do. That's my dad. <laughs> you wanna hit that with some salt? Yes, thank you. You know why you do it from high up? Uh, greater surface area? Yes. Yes. Bam! Yes! Look at me. This is marvelous. Mm -hmm. James, I'm gonna plate these up yes. and I will see you at the table of tastes. Bam. See, he even knew where the table of tastes was. Welcome to the table of tastes. Thank you very much. Uh, you know what we do here. I think we taste. Yeah, it's true, it's true. Bon appetit. Bon appetit, oh mm, my god. Let's see what's going on here. Go! Go. Whoa. Yeah. You know, it's funny. You know, I watch cooking shows, right? Mm. And I always say, are they gonna keep it real when they get to the tasting table? What happens if they don't like it? Do you hate it? No, bro. Oh, okay. No, <laughs> this is a real tasting. And this tastes really good. Awesome. I've never tasted anything like this. Really? Maybe it's because I'm uh, less familiar with palm oil. Mm-hmm. It's just its own, its own flavor. Right. Delicious. Can I shake the chef's hand? Oh, Can absolutely, man. Hand? Oh, delicious. Shocks. Oh my goodness. So if people haven't seen the animated series, mm -hmm. I mean, what, what can they expect? Well, what, what you can expect is to see a whole different side of T'Challa. There's espionage, there's globe trotting, there's uh, sibling rivalry. It's a, it's a little bit of everything. And of course, superhero fights. Mm. You know, who doesn't love those, right? And there's message, you know, there, there's always a, a nice message that you, you know, to, to give the kids. And so I think if you're tuning in to, to Black Panther's Quest, you can buckle up for a heck of a ride. It's wow. gonna be delicious. I lo Again. I did. That's I again, I love this. Word. My word for everything great is now delicious. Let's say that I'm a character in Black Panther's Quest. Here's my voice. Hello. I'm Justin Warner in Black Panther's Quest. Hello. What character would that be? That would be the, probably the gate agent at the airport on the way to Wakanda. All passengers to the boarding doors. James, thanks so much for being here. This has been rad. It has been amazing. Thank you for having me. That's all the time we have on Eat the Universe. We'll see you next time. Bon appetit. Bon appetit.